welcome back to my channel so today's video is a clean and decorate with me what what was that what and also today's video is a clean and decorate with me i'm so excited for this video just because i've been dying to decorate but i just came back from vacation so i haven't had the chance this video is also in collab with my friend emily from mama from scratch she is so awesome you guys you guys are going to love her she has her own etsy shop like i get so much decoration like inspiration from her she's an awesome mom she is the sweetest person you've ever met and i'm just obsessed with her house and her decor and her so i think you guys will love her so make sure you check out her video after you check out mine uh, i'll put all her information down below in the description box and if you're coming from emily's channel hi i am juliana i am a mom to a little girl named Penelope <laughs> and I do all sorts of videos anything you could think of I probably done from fashion to vlogging to motherhood to cleaning to DIYs I try to do a little bit of everything so I hope you guys stick around and check out some of my videos and let me know if you subscribe I would love to welcome you to the family so let's go ahead and jump right these in. two boxes I have right here I filled with uh, fall items I am sure that i'm missing more but i don't know i haven't looked everywhere else so i'm just gonna start with these things that i have here um a lot of the things that i have are stuff that i made myself for example these pumpkins um and i have a diy video of how i make a lot of these things so i'll link it here if you guys want to check it out okay so the first thing i like to do is just take everything out and set it on the table or on the floor so i know what i have and what i'm working with and i could try to figure out where i want to put things I'm starting with this table. I am adding some Halloween stuff here and there because I have my nephews coming in October and we're probably gonna have a little Halloween get together with our new friends. So I wanted to do it more of a Halloween decor for the kids than just fall. This little flower arrangement I made last year so I'm using it here again. And this little mummy guy I got from Marshalls and he sings and dances Thriller song and it's so cute, Penelope loves it. So once I get that done, I'll move on to the hutch and this picture above our dining room. This picture is from Hobby Lobby. I get so many questions about it. And I just added this little pine and gold leaves um, garland. I think it's from Target's dollar spot from last year. I just like to add this on some pictures around the house just to make them a little bit more festive. Okay, so what I like to do is get everything off any surface, wipe it down, and then I start decorating it. But here's the disclaimer, I take forever decorating because I switch things around a million times and I can never decide. So it just takes me a long time. So instead of showing you the entire process of me choosing what I decide to put, I am going to be showing you pictures at the end of how everything ended up looking because if not, this will be a three hour long video. I did decide to go for a simpler decor this year as opposed to last year but I'm adding a lot of pumpkins all over the place and staying with more um, neutral tones. And here's P. She was getting sick this weekend which made making this video on decorating and cleaning a little bit challenging because she was super clingy and just not feeling good so I did have to um, do this in two days as opposed to one day which is what I usually do just because she was not feeling good for this large vase what I like to do is switch what's in it for every season so I usually have sherry blossoms in there but once fall comes I'll put these wooden branches that I made last year I just spray painted them with gold to make them a little bit more festive and then for Christmas I'll switch it up again Here in the living room, I am starting with our TV stand. I don't do a lot of decoration in it because I feel like you really can't see it as much. So I just put a couple of things here and there, but nothing big. I am using the seven generation wood cleaner to wipe everything down and one of my Grove collab microfiber towels. And I also use the Swiffer duster just to take care of the TV because I don't like to spray anything on it.
Next is my mantle, which is pretty much the most important piece for seasonal decor in my house. I love decorating my mantle, but it's always really hard because again, I can't decide. So I switch it up a million times. I switched it so many times that I decided to just show you the picture at the end because it was just way too much. This flower arrangement my mom made for me and I absolutely love it. So what I do for the seasons is I just change a few things in it. I added these sunflowers that are from Hobby Lobby. I absolutely love these. I actually ended up taking off the orange one. Um, but I, I just add stuff to make it festive as opposed to getting rid of it or not putting it up. These little metal baskets are from Hobby Lobby. They are always here on my wall. But I just keep little flowers in them and for the seasons I just switch them up and put something more festive. This time I just put these branches with some pumpkins from Hobby Lobby. Okay, so now we moved on to this hutch that is in front of my kitchen. I absolutely love this hutch and usually I will put some fall decor on it. But again, like I mentioned, I have my nephews coming and a lot more kids this year. And I just really wanted to make it more of a Halloween piece in the house. Um, this is by my entrance, so it's a little bit different, but I absolutely love the way it turned out. Um, if you're not into Halloween decorating, you could totally skip through this, but I am and I absolutely love the way it turned out. Most of the stuff that are on here are from Target, Dollar Spot or from Walmart. I really wanted to make it more spooky than cute, uh, but not so spooky that P will get um, scared. And so far she's good. The skeleton hands and feet I got from Walmart, they were $1.84, they were super cheap. This little calendar that counts down to Halloween is also from Walmart and it was four bucks and it's very, very cute. Um, some of the other stuff like the skull with the books is from Marshalls and I've had them for years. I also added these little spiders all over the place to make it a little bit more creepy. And finally I decided to use some cobweb to just make it look like it's old and dirty and this stuff is so annoying to work with but I'm glad I did it because it definitely gave it the effect I wanted. These little wooden skeletons are from Walmart. They were also about $1.75, so I just decided to hang them from the handles. And then I decided to end this by putting cobweb all over our pictures just to make it a little bit more creepy. I also added some of those spiders like they were going up and I absolutely love the way it turned out. I think it's super fun and just creepy enough for the kids, but not creepy enough for P. <laughs> Okay, so this is the portion of the video that I'm doing a lot of the cleaning and this is actually the morning after. We had a rough night last night and kind of day with Penelope being sick. So I decided to just stop recording and finish all the cleaning in the morning. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm starting with the couches. I am vacuuming them because there was a lot of stuff that I lay on them. Uh, so there was branches and glitter and everything on them. So I went ahead and vacuumed them. I also added those copper velvet pillows that I found at home goods and they are so pretty I love the pop of color on the light couches and then I'm also gonna go ahead and vacuum everything and mop just because again there's pieces of branches and glitter and all sorts of stuff all over the floor again Penelope's still sick so you're gonna see her a lot running in back of me and I had to stop a couple of times just to um, be with her but you could see my mantle here I actually ended up changing the entire mantle so don't mind it <laughs> Thank you. 
For this small corner here in my living room, I just added a pillow that says thankful and I left my other two pillows because I felt like they looked good together and then I had to leave Penelope's little chair there because she did not like it when I moved it. I tried and she wasn't happy about it so you know, that's mom life, toys all over the place even if they don't match your decoration. And the last thing I added here by my fireplace is this cute little copper pumpkin I've had for years and all I did was put some orange branches that I got from Hobby Lobby. They were 40% off so they were about $1.50 a piece so I just put them in there and see how we do. I didn't want to put anything else around there because Penelope will try to grab it so we'll see how we do with those. Back in the dining room, I am just doing a little bit of light cleaning. I wiped down the table with my seventh generation wood cleaner and I am just gonna go ahead and vacuum and mop before we move on. The last piece of the cord that I am adding in my dining room table is my centerpiece. My runner is still the same one I've had which is from Target. I love the way it looks so I'm just going to leave it. And then this centerpiece is from Home Goods, and I've had it for a couple years now. I love it. I love the color of the flowers and the candles and I think it looks really good on the table. It gives it a nice pop of color and still makes it look nice and fresh. Once I got done in the dining room, I moved on to the front of our house. I have this picture right at the entrance. And again, I just added one of these little pine cone garlands. I love this picture. One of my friends made it. She has an awesome Etsy shop. So I'll put that down below because she's amazing. And I love this picture. She does custom work. And also I added a few Halloween stuff just to keep up with the theme. I put this trick or treat um, pillow that I found at Home Goods, and then this little boo sign that I found at Walmart. And I did that because the hutch that I decorated for Halloween is right after the entrance. So I kind of just wanted to keep up with the theme. And again, I just went ahead and vacuumed and wiped down this shelf before we moved on to the kitchen. Moving on to the kitchen, I'm gonna do a light cleaning. I am using the Mrs. Myers Multi-Surface Spray in the scent pumpkin. And I'm gonna be honest, I do not love this scent. I got it because I've never tried it and I wanted to try something new. I usually use the apple cider one during fall, but I decided to give this one a shot. And I don't hate the smell, but I don't really love it. Uh, but if you've been following me for a while, you know that I like to use my products until they're done, even if I don't love them, just because I don't wanna waste my money. So I'm gonna go ahead and use it. And once it's done, I'll start using my apple cider. So I'm just wiping down all my counters with it and my German chamois. And then I am putting a few little decor items here, but I don't go crazy in my kitchen just because I don't feel the need to. I am adding this little mason jar pumpkin decoration that says just pumpkin spice and everything nice, you know, the usual. <laughs> and then I'm also adding one of my favorite candles. I 
found these candles a few weeks ago and I've been telling you guys about it. Their brand is Everyday Luxe and I find them at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. They're super inexpensive and they make your house smell amazing. I also added some dish towels for fall and then in this little hanging board I put a little boo sign and on the door for our laundry room I put a fall wreath that I've had for years. Okay, so last I'm just cleaning off my island again. I am using the multi-surface spray and my German chamois and then I am going over with a towel just to make it nice and shiny. I like to do this once in a while. And then the last thing I'm gonna go ahead and do after I do that is take care of my faucet. I'm gonna disinfect it and for that I use 70% proof rubbing alcohol. This takes care of all germs and everything. So I just went ahead and sprayed that down and wiped it down. And then in the sink, I'm just gonna go ahead and wash really quick the little dishes that I have around the sink. I like to do this very often because they tend to get kind of yucky and then I'm gonna go ahead and put on my pumpkin scent soap because yes I got the pumpkin scent soap too and I don't love it but I'm gonna use it and I did not use the soap that the Mrs. Meyer soap because I really don't like it so I use my regular pumpkin soap from last year plus I love these little containers a little pumpkin and I just think it's very cute and then the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and scrub down my sink just with some soap and water So like I mentioned, I didn't do a lot of decorating in the kitchen just because I didn't want to go crazy. So I just added some pop of color here and there. I switched my dish mat to a orange dish mat to make it a little bit more fall. And then my rug that goes under my sink is going to be the same just because it has already orange and burgundy color so I thought it would look perfect so then I'm just gonna go ahead and vacuum the entire kitchen and then I will mop it and that will be pretty much it I like to leave the kitchen last because I feel like one of us is always in there so there is no point of doing it before I try to leave it last even though we're probably gonna be in there at the moment I'm done cleaning it um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video stick around because I'm gonna go ahead and show you the pictures of how everything turned out so you could get a better look at it and I absolutely love my mantle. I'm so happy of the way that it turned out, supposed to the way it looked before. But let me know what you guys think. Okay guys, so here are the pictures of how everything turned out. I love the way the mantle is now and this whole little corner. I managed to take Penelope's chair out of the way. This is what the kitchen looks like. Um, again, nothing crazy, just a few little items to make it look a little more fall. And then this is what the dining room ended up looking like. And then the last one is a picture of the Halloween table. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you think. If you're coming from Emily's channel, I hope you stick around and subscribe to her channel. And don't forget to check out Emily's video because I think you guys are going to love it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.